it seems that like FCC ch is changing its position on network neutrality. It's no longer the case that every customer needs, uh, are treated the same by those internet service providers. So internet is no longer sort of uh, infrastructure that is open to everyone, meaning that everyone gets the same amount of priority. So people who pay more money are likely to get better um, uh, access to these resources, critical resources. There are these bottlenecks, right, wh where traffic is more congested than other places. And typically those bottlenecks are at the edge of the network, meaning where we immediately get online onto the uh, internet. So those are the edge providers, like, for example, Comcast, right? A good analogy is that they own the infrastructure, they own the, for example, the highway, right? So you want to be able to get to these destinations and get content, the content providers do not necessarily own the, uh, the highway, small content providers. They are unlikely going to be able to pay a lot of money to these uh, ISPs. So what happens is they get a default preference. In those cases where there is congestion, the default preference is likely to lead uh, to uh, packet drops and worse experience to these uh, content publishers, users. The bigger, more powerful companies have more money, right? So they can pay these internet service providers to get better services. The way they do this is that they implement these uh, network policies inside network elements like routers uh, and switches. So the routers and switches can look at the IP addresses of uh, the traffic whether based on source or destination and decide whether these packets should get higher priority. So they use queuing, queue management policies to decide which traffic gets uh, preference, higher, higher preference. So these policies are actually uh, already implemented, um, supported by router vendors. So it's just a matter of enabling them by these operators, network operators. But on the other hand, there are also opportunities for these uh, so-called CDNs, content distribution networks, to help make these content faster, right? to use caching technology. So caching essentially means that you make a, a copy of your original content. So it's no longer the case you only talk to one server. You can have um, multiple copies on the internet and you can find the closest copy to access. Therefore, you get be best performance, much better performance than the case where you only have a single copy. But even for that, it costs money. So these small content publishers still have to have a, figure out a way to distribute their content more broadly and cache at different places to compensate for potentially worse treatment uh, by these ISPs. If you're in China now, you can't get to Twitter, you can't get to YouTube, you can't get to Facebook. If you Google for Tiananmen Square, uh, the connection will hang up. 